Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing a quick tour of my little studio where I have my lab set up and I'm going to illustrate and show you guys exactly what I do and how I do it. And uh, potentially you can actually do all this stuff if you have the resources, of course, uh, the hardware. You can utilize all of this to put on your resume, right? Because a lot of the tools that you can use pen testing tools are all open source you can download them you can play with them the uh, you know as far as experiencing it and touching it and feeling it and you know spinning up vms uh recently vmware is offering the workstation i believe the pro is free now you don't actually have to pay for it uh for personal use and of course you know i use things like uh, VirtualBox. um you know a lot of these uh, images Kali Linux they're all images that you can just download and load them up I, I maybe I'll do a tutorial going forward but I just wanted to go over some of the hardware elements that I have right now and of course you guys have always seen my studio behind me and I never really spoke much about it right so right even right here you can see all those red those are all hard drives and they range from like 8 terabyte all the way to I believe some of them are 16 terabytes some of them are 4 mix and match and that's coming from my server right there uh, i i do run a mini mini uh crypto farming uh rig i, I farm uh chia uh since the beginning of it which was like three years ago and i still have that running right now only because you know it sparked some interest in the beginning but uh the the hype is kind of dying down but i've been keeping it running i've been you know just collecting coins but let me show you guys right now exactly what I have and what I'm doing. So I just want to show you right now. I'm going to switch it back to my back camera and you guys are going to be like, what the hell is all this crap, right? So, of course, I'm sitting right here. Uh, this is, you see the uh, two screens over here, but there is another screen right over here to the left of me. And this is a three screen setup. And you can see I, I'm using this as my OBS. I have my microphone over here. And I have my camera situated and plus the uh, the lighting. And I've, of course, I have my foam uh, so it can isolate the sound. So no, no sound vibrations. And I'm going to say off to this side, right? This is my... So I, I spun up this machine and that's actually coming from right there. And I'll, I'll get up and I'll show you guys. I have three GPUs hanging right now, like a 6600 XT. I used to have a whole bunch more. I actually sold a lot of them. And it's just sitting on the rack. I have it plugged into this uh, kilowatt so I can see how much, uh, you know, uh, uh, wattage and, and electricity is actually using. And I test things. Uh, I, I like playing around with certain things, not necessarily productive things sometimes because this one I'm actually running like I have nice hash on there. Uh, I sometimes blow it away and I put Linux on there. I do have VirtualBox. I do run Kali on it. I do play Steam on it. Let me just show you guys really quick. And of course, I don't have a, a screen share on it, but I do run Steam. I, I have uh, Command and Conquer Generals on it. And I just, I, I run a whole bunch of things. I actually have, um, I use this because I would randomly put in uh, GPUs on there. Uh, higher end GPUs. I had like a 3090 Ti. I had a 3070 Ti. I still have it. Uh, well, not the 3090. I actually sold that. And I will use that to try to crack hashes on this machine because this is this one is like my uh, just what do you call that? It, it's just my my dummy machine, my my throwaway machine. And I just randomly sometimes I would just use this if I wanted to access a certain website, which I really, really don't care about. OK, so that's what I do with that. So let me show you guys more. Hold on. So I'm just turning off the light. I'm going to move the camera off over here. And you guys will be like, oh my goodness. So these are uh, 28. So these are 28 inch. I believe those are 28 inch. And that's where I have my personal uh, work environment because that's uh, it's a little more powerful over there. And I'll show you the, uh, the specs on it right up there. If you guys can see that. And uh, so, but there is another side machine here. Sounds like a side chick. So 
Let me just grab this off right now. Bear with me, guys. So right here is another machine off to the side. And then I have, this is my learning station. I use this to study. I play videos and I like to use this one to study. It's a single monitor. And then of course I have the four monitor over there. And that's the wall setup. So of course I have my power button over here. Watch this turn on. Check it out guys. So I'm just turning that on right now. You guys gonna probably hear me all fainted. I'm pretty far away right now, so there it goes. Uh, my LED setup for the the CPU cooler and the memory. So everything has a uh, LED on it, including my NVMe USB-C connector. And this again is a four monitor setup. Uh, and then off to the side over here. Actually, I'll show you guys on the main camera now. Off to the side. All right, so off to the side, I have another machine that I, I use for Kali Linux. Uh, this one is actually, I can, um, oops. So here, I can actually, oops, where, where, they, where is it? This is the power. Yeah. Anyway. One of them is a source for me to change uh, VGA to uh, DisplayPort. And then I will switch it over to this guy, which is another Kali box that I use uh, just for testing purposes, just for playing around. Uh, messing with you know like uh, vulnerability scanners and and nmap and all that great stuff i try to isolate each event on a machine where not one machine does everything that i, I like if i use my youtube recording machine i normally would only use that for that and uh, i have other machines to do other things if i'm going to play with new software i'm going to put it onto another machine that I can throw away, meaning I can just blow away the OS without caring what is on there, which for the most part, I probably would run a VM for the like in the beginning of it. And, and if that doesn't work too well, or I need to utilize my GPU and I can't do that through a VP, uh, uh, through a virtual machine, I'll load it up on a physical machine, a bare, a bare metal box, and then I'll, I'll play around with that. So again, I, I said that I was using, uh, you know, I was farming some type, some type of crypto. I used to do a lot more and I kind of just stopped. Uh, I had a whole GPU rack behind there as well. And let me just show you guys really quick. Uh, I, I didn't show the bottom part of it. Down there, you can see right there, there's like rows and rows of hard drives that just, um, I have about... A 304 TIBs uh, so that's the like equivalent to 300 terabytes of data and if you're familiar with uh, what she is that's exactly what I'm doing um, not, 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 I'm not I'm too crazy about it anymore uh, I have I used to do a lot of videos on that as well not in this channel but I kind of uh, steered away from that and of course now I'm just more focused on uh, self enhancement as far as uh, education wise security wise and creating more content around helping you guys uh, you know put yourself out there uh, as far as understanding what kind of labs you should have and what type of uh, setups you have and, and to set yourself up not for failure but to achieve that next level where you're putting more information on your resume so you know hiring managers can see that you're actually attempting even when you have no experience that you're still attempting to do all this because that's you're creating experience for yourself so i just want to end it there and hopefully you guys enjoy this video kind of uh it was all over the place but i just wanted to share that with you guys all right i, I thank you guys and hopefully you can like comment and share all this out to your other 
Pierce, and I'll talk to you guys again really soon. Take care.